Okay, welcome back. So in that last video, uh, we talked about the main facilities requirements, compressed air and electrical power, and how they get to the system, and the primary shutoff uh, valves that are used to control that power, um, or compressed air. So what I'm gonna do is walk through each of the stations and go through the procedure of turning the station on, um, and even the emergency stop procedure, which is something you might have to do if a box, say, got jammed or something happened and you need to turn it off. So turning on the station is pretty basic. There's the power switch is here on the left. Just turn it, and this is station one. That's all you need to do. Just turn on the power button, and we're good to go. So if I were to start this process, so it starts doing a little dot box dispenser. Um, let's say something happened, something got jammed and I needed to emergency stop it. Okay, I just hit the e-stop button. This is an emergency button. It's, it's there for, you know, God forbid something, someone gets jammed in there or whatever. Generally it's for if something happens with the product. So when you, when you hit the button, it starts an emergency stop sequence where the red light is blinking and everything is shut down. It also releases all the compressed air in the system. There's a, a pneumatic valve back here that gets its power from the main power supply. As soon as that power supply goes down, the power to that pneumatic valve is shut off and it's, it goes to its normally uh, normal position, which releases air from the, the system. Okay, so here we are in e-stop. To get it back online, the first thing we need to do is go in and clear the station from anything that's inside it. So now that it's off, I can do that safely. I pull the box out, put it back in the dispenser. Okay, the first thing I wanna do, you don't actually have to do this, but I generally like to do this as a, as a good practice. Turn the power off. That way it doesn't come on immediately as soon as I release the emergency stop. So to release the emergency stop, just give it a quick turn to the right and let it go, just gentle. Uh, it'll pop back out, and when it does that, it, it recloses. This, this is a normally closed switch. When you hit it, it opens, and when you release it, it closes. So now, we've now got the ability for power to go in. We turn the power back on, but notice it's still in the e-stop mode, so the last thing we need to do is hit the reset button, okay? And now we're back. It's, it's green, ready to go. So I'm just going to review that quickly. So for emergency stop, first hit the emergency stop button. Okay, initiates the emergency stop state. Turn the power off. Release the emergency stop by gently twisting it to the right and letting it go. Turn the power back on and hit reset. And that's all there is to it. We're back to where we were. Okay, so let's walk around to the next stations. Now, the next three stations are identical, so I'm gonna demonstrate on the blue station, and maybe I'll just reinforce it on the red station. Now, you notice I've been using my left hand because I'm holding the camera with my right hand, but let's see if I can get it with my other hand. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, initiate the sequence and do an emergency stop on this one. So first of all, Startup of the dispensing station, same thing, I need to turn power on, but there's one more thing I need to do based on the way this station was put together. There's a scale, and the process won't work without the scale being on, because the scale measures the mass of pellets in the box. So I'm going to go over here, I have to manually turn that on. It's not a great design feature of the system, but it's the way it is. Uh, the reason it doesn't turn on automatically is that switch is a soft switch. It's not a hardware switch. So it needs power first at its, you know, coming into the scale before you can even initiate the startup. So just two things to remember on this. Power and then reach in and turn on the scale. All right, so let's initiate a sequence. I'll just hit the button once, which means it'll, it'll give me 15 grams and I'll let it start, and then I'm gonna hit the emergency stop and do a restart process. Okay, so it's dispensing a box. 
putting it back. So I'm going to hit the e-stop. All right, you hear that that hissing air? That means the air was just released from the station. Okay, the restart is very much like station one. We're going to turn power off first. Release the emergency stop by twisting it gently to the right and letting it go. Let me just let me show you that from the side because it's good. To, so it's actually in the in it. It's it's actually pushed in. So when I push it to the right, it pops up. So you want to feel that pop up. Okay. Then we turn power back on. And again, it's still blinking. So the last part of this is to hit reset. Now with this station, you got to remember to do that last step of turning on the scale. So you got to reach in here and turn on the scale. Okay, the scale takes a little while to turn on. It turns on, then it automatically zeroes itself out. All right, that's station uh, two. Now stations three and four are the same, so I don't need to go through those. Stations five and six, very simple, kind of like station one. Flip the switch, and you're done. Station is ready to go. Um, emergency stop procedure is the same. Hit the e-stop button, okay? To, re to recover from emergency stop, turn power off, release the e-stop, turn power back on, press reset. And now we're back. Remember, of course, if, if you are stopping in the middle of a process, um, you need to clear the station. In fact, I forgot to do that. So let's go back. When I demonstrated station two, there was a box that had been dispensed and that would cause problems if we try to run the process. So So remember when you when you do an e-stop process to clear out anything any material that's in the process before you start it up again. In fact, I forgot to do that now that I think of it on station number two. All right, so I actually shouldn't have started it back up without clearing out that box. You see the box that's sitting on the platform. So I don't really need to do an emergency stop here, so I'm just gonna turn the power off so I can safely reach in, grab the box, put it back up here, and then we'll start it back up. Remembering, of course, to Turn on the scale. All right, two more stations to look at. I'm going to skip station six because it's exactly like station five. I'm going to skip station seven because that's also exactly like stations five and six and one. The only one, even though we're not going to be using this station this week yet, just so you can see, um, station eight is one little thing we have to do. It, uh, when you turn it on, it generates a sequence where it moves the, the vertical and horizontal motors until it finds the home position. And if this position, this uh, actuator is too far over this way, it has trouble finding home. So simply push it to the right a little bit, turn the power on, and it actually is going to walk over to the left. And what it's doing is it's running both the horizontal and vertical positioning motors until they find that home position sensor and then they move back to a, what's considered their zero position. So that's all set. The, the, rate, the way you know a station is turned on is that the light is green. It's ready to go. Okay, same thing with this station doesn't have a problem. Station 9 finding its uh, home position seems to do fine. You don't have to do any pushing of the actuator. So it's, it's red because it's still in the process of getting initialized. Okay, there it is, ready to go. And then station 10 is just exactly like the other stations one and five and six. You just turn the power switch on and it's ready to go. And the emergency stop 
sequence is the same on that as well. Okay, so there's your overview of starting up each individual station. And we're going to continue in the next video on talking about observing the sequence of the actuators on a given station. All right, stay tuned.